slipped her handcuffs, her belly chain. Hey family and welcome back to another episode on our true crime series. So today you guys will be covering 28 year old Jordan Sims who ultimately jumped from the back of a police car and died due to her injuries. Now, Jordan Sims was a beautiful 28-year-old mom of three um, who had arthritis and lupus and was put on opioids. Now, like many others who are taking opioids, you become um, addicted to the medication. So, um, Jordan was ultimately arrested for, like, petty theft. Well, a few days after being taken to jail, Jordan called her mom and disclosed to her mom that she had been assaulted in the jail by the arresting officer. And, um, she wanted her mom to come get her. Mommy, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please, I need you right now more than ever. Jordan. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. He said, "Just don't make me look stupid." He starts just rubbing on my body on top of my clothes, and then he moves his hand down farther in my pants, and he starts. I don't want to talk about this no more. I don't want to talk about this no more. I don't want to talk about this no more. So they did ultimately take her to be examined, and they found male DNA on her, but it wasn't enough. Um, to do anything about it, basically. She then later on said that a female officer also assaulted her. This time by a female officer. She says, why don't you go and report this? She says, who's going to you now? Jailhouse video shows Sims being taken into a holding room before walking into the shower room with a female officer. The door shuts. Then two minutes later, it opens again when the female officer leaves. It was during that two minutes that Jordan says the female officer assaulted her. Um, and then you see in a little clip where she is running from the officers. Um, they do catch her and bring her back in. Well, Jordan was supposed to go to um, an emergency room to be looked at. Well, she never made it. Um, they said she, this is the part that, that gets me because I don't understand how this happened. In the um, process of transport, transporting her, she is said to have slipped her handcuffs, her belly chain, as well as her ankle cuffs, basically. All three of them. Um and jump out the back of this car. That is ridiculous. I don't know how that happened. That is ridiculous. That makes no sense. So many protocols was not taken. The officer that was driving, um, in the video clips that I've, that I've seen, she was so shocked. She was like, how did this happen? The door was not supposed to open on its own. Um, she did say that she never check Jordan, you know, before transporting her. She never checked the, lock the door. She never locked the doors um, on the car. She did say that initially wasn't the car, her car that she normally drive, that the check engine light or something came on on that. So they put her, put them in another vehicle. Um, so she didn't think to check the child locks or to check Jordan um, to make sure everything was everything on the car. That makes no sense. In a job like that, you cannot drop the ball. You have to stick to protocol. People do not stick to protocol. You get so lax and so, you know, lazy when it comes to stuff like that, but you cannot afford to do that. The door should have been checked. Her handcuffs, her belly chain, all that should have been checked. She should have been checked. Um, one thing that they did find, the detectives found when they made it to the scene was a small tube of shower gel. Um... And her shoes in the back seat. I'm not understand. I'm honestly with the mom on this one. Something isn't right. And something is not adding up in this case. For her to be able to get out of handcuffs, out of her ankle cuffs, and a belly chain. 
most squad cars, you you can't open the doors from the inside. She For shouldn't have been like able that. to. She yeah. shouldn't have been able to. There's no way this should have happened. That's, that's, that's a lot of missing information, I believe. Definitely. Definitely. It's a lot of missing information. Um, her mom definitely believes that she was just dumped. You know, she was dumped. Um, she believed that they are trying to cover up for what happened to her because she did call her mom and she did tell her mom what went on with her. Um, the arresting officer that arrested her was let off. No charges were um, brought about to any of the officers, um, which his lawyer, you know, said that, you know, they're happy about that because they, you know, initially speculated that nothing was going to, you know, that he will be, you know, let off. But, um, yeah, there's no anything happening to the officers or anything. And that alone as well is crazy to me. Like something, somebody knows something and I definitely feel like they're covering it up. And I really hate that Jordan had to um, ultimately lose her life in that way. You know, I mean, my speculations are... You know, even if you are going to jail, you know, it's a lot of good people that does dumb things or bad things and has to go to jail, you know. So, I feel like that still should be a safe place, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like people should, people shouldn't have to die because you're not doing your job. Yeah, that's crazy. And this happened in Arizona. This happened in Arizona, yeah. She had three kids. Yeah. Dang. That's, that's that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand how something like that happened. Like, that is, that's insane. Like, you mm -hmm. transporting her, and you already got her in shackles. You got her in handcuffs and a belly chain. You put all this stuff on someone so they can't get away. And you telling me she slipped it all, because they try to say she slipped it with the shower. Jet. Right. That's impossible. Um, then she jumped out the car, then the car ran her over. That's crazy. Uh, it's it's just not adding up to me, you guys. It's not adding up to me. One of our subscribers did leave this case um, in the comment section and wanted us to give our opinion on it. And I definitely believe that there are some foul play um, in her case. And I really hate that she had to lose her life that way. And that those babies are now having to be, you know, having to grow up without their mom. I really do hate that. Um, but yeah, we definitely wanted to shed a little light on her case and to give our opinion on what happened to her. If you guys have any other cases or true crimes that you want us to cover, please leave them down below in the comment section and we will definitely cover them for you guys. We thank y'all so, so much for coming back and for watching and for showing so much love and support to our channel. We'll definitely keep the content coming. Thank you guys again and we'll see you in the next one.